Hi class, in this video I'm going to talk about um, some strange patents made by one company specifically, which is Apple. Apple is a very large company and has a lot of different patents, but I think some of these patents, even though Apple has come out with some great gadgets like the iPad, the iPhone, and even the iWatch now, I think there are definitely some really crazy patents that seem ridiculous. And we'll go through five of them, the first one being a three-dimensional touch skin, multi-touch skins. And if you follow the images on my blog, the image is a little bit confusing, but this patent is essentially um, a multi-touch skin that Apple hopes to use for like sports equipment, maybe on the handle of, say, tennis rackets. And I'm not exactly sure how they intend this to work, but <clears throat> they are using the three-dimensional size of a racket's handle to um, incorporate this material. And number two is the keyless keyboard. This seems kind of contradictory in the name itself. And if you imagine it, how I imagine it, is that it's going to be a flat touchscreen item, sort of like a f iPad, but then um, you are be able to type on it without, and it'll just won't have keys like a regular keyboard. And even though this is hard to imagine, I think this could be plausible. And the third um, crazy patent made by Apple that I'm going to talk about is the magic glove. And the purpose of this glove is to allow users to access their multi-touch devices even in the cold. And I know this doesn't seem like a new concept, so I'm kind of wondering how Apple will market these gloves as magical. But in terms of prior art, I think this patent is the most likely to be infringing upon a previous patent because it doesn't seem too new. I've definitely seen gloves out there with the little pads on the front of the, the tip of the fingers, which allow people to use their multi-touch devices as well. Number four is a desk-free computer, which is a pretty much a desktop computer, but maybe floating in the air and not perched on an actual item or a desk. And the fifth one is a secret decoder ring for login, and this seems similar to kind of having a fingerprint login system, but it's a little bit different, and I think it might not even be as effective. But overall, these are five crazy patents that Apple has come up with and that we should definitely keep up with and see how they work out in terms of customer use.